assalamu alaikum i hope you all are doing well so in this course we will be talking about dynamical systems dynamical systems you might be familiar with the word dynamics if you have been through physics so what do we mean by dynamical systems so roughly informally speaking the systems the systems that depend the system that depends on time or maybe you can say that that evolve with time so what could be some of the very nice examples that evolve with time so for example we can talk about uh, population growth population growth the model is usually given by dy by dt to be some k times y where y is population at time t similarly another example could be logistic population model that is given by dx over dt to be a times x multiplied with 1 over x 1 minus x over n so this is known as logistic population model this also evolved with time evolves with time we can see a couple of more examples as well for example for example we can also have uh, driven pendulum with quadratic damping damping that is given by theta double dot I mean a second time derivative of theta plus alpha times theta dot into absolute of theta dot plus sine of theta to be equal to f now if you see that this is also uh, depending on time depends on time we will talk more about them later so this is just motivation you can also see a few more examples so we we are kind of uh, watching the dynamical systems almost in all of the fields for example if we talk about linguistics linguistics so we have a very famous language death system defined by differential equation and that is given by it's given by x dot to be 1 minus x times p y x minus p x y so people write this capital x and capital y capital x and capital y so where x is fraction of fraction of people or maybe you call speakers speaking a language so how that fraction is evolving with time is given by this where p of x to y is you know something that tells you that tells you about the rate at which a speaker switches from language y to 
x in a given speech so we we have seen that uh, the time evolving process or uh, time evolutionary systems are also in linguistics we can see a few more to and some other interesting areas for example we can see so one of the very famous and interesting application of dynamical system is found in uh, politics like opinion dynamics in politics we will not talk in detail we will talk them about later on so what happens over here is that that suppose there are three types of people in a certain you know society one of them are leftists and rightists and then sent and then we have centrists. So, what happens in our society or in a given society, the assumption is that these two are extremists and these are centrists. So, they let's call the uh, leftists, uh, let's let's uh, let x be the fraction of rightists. And Y be the fraction of leftists and Z be the fraction of centrists. So these don't communicate to each other. But whenever X or Y, anyone from X or Y communicates with Z, so either it persuades or loses from it. So the model is given by X dot to be R times XZ y dot to be r times y z and z dot to be minus r times x z minus r times y z so if r is positive what happens if the r is positive then the extremist is always wins and persuades the centrist to move that end of the uh, of the side for example if r is positive and x is you know convincing z or y i mean left is or right is is convincing to z then if r is positive then uh, x or maybe y wins wins if r is negative then you know so we can say that the centrist wins and makes the extremist uh, to be the centrist or middleman so this this is how interestingly so here x dot is time derivative y dot is time derivative and z dot is also time derivative so it says that how the fraction of uh, rightist people is changing with time and how the fraction of uh, leftist people is changing with respect to time and this is how the fraction of centrist is uh, you know evolving with respect to time so this is all about you know uh, the dynamical systems these were very few examples and uh, in future we will be looking into them in, 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 in detail uh, for example very interesting other applications are also found in many other areas for example uh, you can find uh, articles on uh, dynamics of love affairs so anything that is evolving with respect to time is interesting to talk about in dynamical systems so any system that is evolving with time is very interesting to talk about so so in all of the previous cases we were we were lucky enough enough to have their models so it's again a challenging thing I mean some differential equation or if it is di discrete then if it's continuous then it is going to be either partial differential equation or differential equation if it is dis discrete then it's going to be difference equation so 
like if we are lucky enough to model them again there is another interesting question to be asked that are we always are we always in a position to solve such differential equations which model them or no so this is again a question differential equation or difference equation so interestingly we are unable to for example one of the examples that is mentioned and many of the books is that three body problem for example so the problems like those like those are very difficult to solve for in fact there are many nonlinear differential equations which are you know uh, like kind of nightmare to solve like they are headache to solve so in that case uh, what this course is going to do with you this course is going to help you uh, even if even if we can't solve the systems maybe yet we can talk about their behavior so this will be a qualitative kind of behavior uh, for example if you are given with a system and you are unable to solve then uh, again you have uh, this course will help you this course will help you to analyze the system qualitatively qualitatively so when i say that analyze then we will be interesting and few very interesting interesting questions the questions like what happens what happens in the system as t goes to infinity or what happens what happens if t goes to minus infinity or if we change initial condition what happens to system what happens and uh, we will also be talking about are there any attractors or repellers for the system so the course is going to be very interesting we will be uh, uh, talking about these these kinds of questions but we will be starting from very simple you know dynamical systems and uh, first I'll define uh, an n-dimensional uh, dynamical systems when we say n dimensional n dimensional dynamical system dynamical system I mean x dot 1 f of x1 up to xn and x2 dot f of 1 f f1 f2 x1 up to xn so on so forth x n dot fn of x1 up to xn so this is going to be an n dimensional dynamical systems but a system but we will be starting with the very basic that is first order uh, dynamical system so a uh, dynamical system so for that you need to wait for the next video thank you